Okay, today we're going to make uh, some seed logs. A little video here, to, instructional video to show you how easy it is and what you need. Uh, so to start with, uh, well I decided to do it outside. Unfortunately it's drizzling a little bit, but I thought I'd try and be surrounded by my target audience, which today are mostly pine siskins, some chickadees, the odd towhee, affiliated woodpeckers, stellar's jays, etc. Uh, the birds love these uh, seed logs. Here's a few here. That's what we're going to make. Um, obviously you start out, uh, main ingredient are seeds. Um, you can use virtually any uh, bird seed you like, but I highly recommend uh, the shelled sunflower seeds. The birds love them, almost every kind of bird, um, chock full of uh, nutrients. And uh, because they're shelled, there's no waste. And so they're very clean underneath the, uh, the seed log. Anything that falls to the ground gets cleaned up without a whole lot of mess behind. Having said that, I add a little bit of mixed seed with that, just to add a little bit of variety and um, a variety of uh, size and texture and attract a few other birds. I also add for two seed logs about a half a cup of shelled peanuts. Um, you're also going to need some uh, gelatin uh, or agar. Uh, gelatin's uh, much more available, uh, a little bit easier to use, so I'm going to use gelatin today to make these seed logs. Uh, you're going to need uh, some tubes. Uh, one tube, uh, it's nice to use, uh, have a couple tubes and make a few seed logs at once. Uh, it just saves you a bit of time. I use these uh, just cut pieces of uh, plumbing, PCB piping, four inch diameter. You can use any diameter you like really. Uh, if you make them too small though, you end up needing to make a lot of seed logs. So having a four inch uh, diameter piece of pipe is, uh, is a nice size. You make a pretty good uh, size log out of that. I'll show you uh, the other items as, as we use them. You're going to line each uh, tube with a piece of uh, either parchment paper or wax paper. Parchment pa paper, I think, is uh, really ideal. Seems to work really nicely, but both are fine. You're just going to put a piece of parchment paper inside each tube. Like so. I'll get that uh, water boiling for the gelatin. Normally the parchment paper goes in there a little bit easier when it's not wet. You're going to need a uh, large mouth funnel, which is really nice for filling the uh, seed logs with the mix. You're going to need a big spoon. I use a little wooden spoon for mixing. Um, when your seed log is done, uh, if you want to hang it on a piece of jute, just get a just get a piece of jute. Put two loops at uh, either end. Oh, I have to get a, a little stick here for you. You just get yourself any piece of uh, of uh, nice twig, nice little branch, quarter inch diameter is good. Take that, you're gonna you know, do the little loop to loop thing here. Put that on one end of the jute. Then I use a piece of like coat hanger, uh, uh, heavy, heavy garden wire, uh, fence wire. Put a little loop on the end. You'll see that we make a little hole in the seed log, and then I can just shove this through there. Put the one end of jute through that little hole, pull it through, and voila, I have my hanging seed log. I warmed up the seed a little bit today just because it's going to be outside, and you do want to load up the seed logs as sort of quickly as you can 
just so the gelatin uh, doesn't get too cool and start to set on you before you're done. But so once I get the water boiling here, we'll get started. Oh, I use, uh, I end up, I, I fill the, the tubes about two thirds full of seed is what you want measuring wise for me. It's about 10 cups of seed for these two tubes and two sort of heaping tablespoons of gelatin to just under two cups of boiling water. So I get my boiling water in here. Dumped in my gelatin. Then I make sure it's really well dissolved. It's important. to me. I just pour that into the seed. I mix it up quickly, get it all nice and combined. I simply take my big spoon here and load up my seed logs. If you're working outside and you spill seeds, the birds will clean them up for you later. If you're doing it in the kitchen, you may have quite a few seeds all over the place. If you're not careful. Get that approximately full. Doesn't really matter too much. Even it out later. Recommended don't do it in the rain. starting to look like they're now mostly full. Don't want to waste any seed. Uh, even the smallest amount of seed provides a lot of energy for a bird the size of a siskin or a chickadee. Siskin only weighs about half an ounce. Okay, so then, really importantly, you have to compress the seeds down. Now, I just have a little tricky way of doing things here. I've got myself a little oh, wooden widget from uh, Michael's uh, craft store just happens to be the right size you can use oh just a can of beans peanut butter jar whatever just sort of fits nicely within your tube and you just compress the seeds down now what I did was with this wooden gadget I drilled a hole through there and now I can just take my doweling plunge it through there make a nice hole through the seed log Remove the doweling and 
my seed log is ready to go as soon as the gelatin sets. Now, that's a little fancy. So another thing you can do is just take whatever fits, use that to compress the seeds firmly down, nice and tight. And then when you're done doing that, you can just take a piece of doweling and just aim for the middle. Just sort of push it down into the seed log and leave it in there to set. Now you should use a shorter doweling so you can fit it in the refrigerator if you're going to. And then you just set those and when the uh, set those aside and when the gelatin's ready uh, to go, you're just going to remove those from the tubes. I've got a couple here, I'll show you. These were left overnight. Now normally I would recommend uh, just to make it a little easier to, to, to get them out. It doesn't hurt to just run this under hot water just to warm up the tube and expand it a little bit. But here's my seed log. I just had it sitting on top of a yogurt lid in the fridge. And I just take my parchment paper, kind of push it over, and this one just slides out nicely. Parchment paper comes off. I've got my seed log. Okay. This is the one, uh, the style where I just left a the doweling in the middle, and here you have to kind of tap the doweling to loosen it, pull it through, then remove the seed log from the tube, and same story, you have a seed log with the tube in the middle, and that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. I will uh, try and put some in, like a little bit more detailed step-by-step -step instructions, ingredient list, quantities in case you forgot to write them down, that sort of thing.